Hey, welcome to another edition of Weekly Rhythms here at Olive Baptist Church. I can remember the first time uh, I ever prayed in public. Uh, we were collecting the uh, offering at my church and my pastor called on me to uh, pray the offertory prayer. Well, man, you, you, you can imagine I was, you know, I, I was awkward, I felt nervous. I'd never done that before and it was a new experience. Well, as I've grown in my faith and I've had the opportunity to pray in public down the road, I feel like I've gotten better at praying in public. And I feel like I've been uh, more effective in my prayer life as I've matured. But the Word of God is clear that we need help when we pray. Our communication with the Lord uh, needs to be assisted by God's Spirit. Paul talks about this in Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. He writes, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness for we do not know what to pray for as we ought but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words and he who searches hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God you and I as we pray and I would encourage you to pray from your heart don't pray some false, fakey, super religious prayer. Just pray from your heart. But even as we pray sincerely from our heart, God's Spirit is there. Uh, Paul says He is what? He's interceding for us. He, he's literally interpreting our prayer to the heavenly throne room. I can remember when I lived in Ohio, I had the opportunity to preach uh, to a Japanese chapel that met at our church a few times. And I can remember the interpreter standing next to me. So I would preach my sermon in English, and then the interpreter would interpret it in Japanese. And it was an amazing uh, thing to experience. I had no idea what the Japanese language was all about. All I knew was English. Well, when you and I pray and the Holy Spirit interprets our prayer to the Heavenly Father, it's not like He's interpreting another language. It's way deeper than that. It, the, the Bible says that the Spirit uses words that are so deep, it's way beyond our comprehension. But I encourage you today as you pray to remember that as you pray, the Spirit of God, He's helping you interpret that prayer to the Heavenly Father. I mean, I don't care if you're praying for a, a, a parking spot at the grocery store or you're, or you're interceding for a friend who's got cancer. God's Spirit, God's Holy Spirit will take your prayer from your heart and He'll interpret it. He'll bring it into the presence of Almighty God. Man, God's, God's love for us is so great. He encourages us to call Him Abba Father, Daddy, Papa, as we spoke about last week. So, so in our prayer life, God loves us so much that he gives us help when we pray. So I encourage you today to, to uh, continue to pray from your heart and be that prayer warrior. But don't forget, as you pray, whether, you're, whether you've been a believer for a long time or you're just learning how to pray, God's Spirit is there helping you get your prayer to the right place at the right time. Hey, I'm John Dubois. I hope this video has encouraged you today to be a, 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 a man, a woman of prayer, a man, a woman of faith that loves to talk to the Heavenly Father. God bless you until the next time we get together.